Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Pashvika, the channel where we talk about the female staff, the periods, menstrual cycle, and a lot more. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to deal with the anxiety. Now, I know that anxiety is the most common, not just in the females, but also in any human being. We do have the anxiety. And personally, I have faced the anxiety a lot many times in my life. So I'm going to be sharing some of the tips with you guys to deal with the anxiety. And these would be the real tips based on my own personal experience. So without further ado, let's get straight with that before go pa. Consider the clicking like button, guys. I do appreciate that. If you want more such video future, consider subscribing and the bell icon. Whenever I'm going to upload new videos, you're going to get notified about it. Also, you can visit my website, thesimplebabes.com. The link is in the description box below for blog articles for more content. And you can very well grab the self-care planner workbook that will going to help you take care of yourself. It's entirely based on my experience and knowledge so far. It's a female self-care. The link is in the description box below. It's a PDF download, which you can very well download it and fill it out. It's kind of like a play door and along with the uh, extra steps are given above that. Anyway, guys, all the links are in the description box below. Without further ado, let's talk. Personally, I have dealt with the anxiety a lot many times, especially in some phases of my cycle. I think I have already covered in my videos about the phases of the cycle, like the different four phases. I'm gonna leave that video in the cast section below if you're interested in checking out. But depending on the which phase of the cycle you are in, it will going to vary, the things will going to vary, but you might feel the anxiety in some phases or in some days of your cycle. First tip that I have for you is to actually ask yourself why I'm feeling this way. I think that this is a really important question. I usually ask myself whenever I'm in a situation that is that is like not related to my normal situation. For example, if I'm feeling over obsession, or sadness, depression, anxiety, no matter what the, my mood is, I just ask myself why I am feeling this way, why I am having all these thoughts and all these anxieties and all that stuff. I ask myself and then I take a piece of paper and write down whatever that's coming inside from me. I want to tell you guys, everything is within us, okay? Everything is within us. We know what is right for us. We just need to ask ourselves the right questions to get the right answers, which we are looking forward to it. If you're not going to ask yourself these questions, how are you going to know why you're feeling this way? Because you already know about it. It's just that you need to explore more about yourself by asking yourself the right question and then actually generally down onto a piece of paper and then you can figure it out because of this reason I'm feeling this way. So what I have to do to mitigate this particular stuff. So ask yourself why you are feeling this way. There could be a lot many reasons or maybe one reasons. It doesn't matter. Okay. The point is that you ask yourself this question and write it on a piece of paper and then look at that. What were the reasons that your mind and body is giving you that leads to this particular anxiety? Second tip that I have for you. Once you know the reasons why you are feeling the anxiety, now you can really take an action or really do something about the reasons that you have already mentioned that is clearly indicating your anxiety. Legally, if I have to take an action regarding that particular stuff, most of the time the anxiety occurs due to the, some future stuff that we, is about to happen. Maybe you're going for a conference or a meeting or a family gathering or some kind of a trip or all the things we're going to go in the future. So when you are thinking about the future, you're more likely to have an anxiety. It's because of your future things that are about to happen in your life, a meeting, a conference or family gathering or social function, whatever the case is, you're feeling anxiety right now because of that future event we usually feel that that could be the one of the reason or that could be some other reasons so one thing i want to tell you over here if you are having an anxiety due to the, some future events or future things that are happening in your future in the upcoming few days or months you might feel anxiety due to that if that's your reason then what you could do you could tell yourself that thinking about the future will not going to help you take any action in your present moment because you usually tend to think a lot that that thing will going to happen in the future then i have to take an action right now or i have to do this to prevent that thing from happening in the future but i want to tell you the thing will going to happen in the future you can't take an action right now for that future even that's going to happen in the future because you don't know what will going to happen you can have a plan a plan b or different options but ultimately you you don't know what we're going to have in the future i mean it's the future is uncertain of course if you're going for an interview you can prep yourself for the interview right now for the future interview but if you're going for something else which you can't plan right now then how are you going to take an action right now i hope it makes sense right you can't take a proper action for the things that are about to happen in the future in the present moment reason write the solution what you're gonna do 
to prevent that particular thing from creeping in your benefits. Uh, let me take an example over here. For example, if you're going on a travel and you're having an anxiety, how I'm going to pull this off? How I'm going to go on a flight? How I'm going to go to the, that country? Or how I'm going to live there? Uh, whatever it's safe or how I'm going to eat there? Like there could be so many reasons you are having that anxiety related to the trip that is about to happen maybe the next month. What are you going to do? You can ask yourself, these are the reasons. Okay, now what are the solutions to that? I can plan for those things right now, okay? I can Google it, I can talk to the local people, or I can ask my friend if they live there. I can get the help for all the steps which you think that will going to help you actually solve that particular problem that you are expecting to happen in the future. Do all those action steps. Once you're done with that, and then you have to sit back and relax and tell yourself that I have done whatever things that I can done in this present moment for my future event or for my future travel. Now I can't do any longer. Now I have to sit back, relax and have faith and have trust that things will going to happen the way I have planned it. Or if it doesn't happen the way I have planned it, I'll still be fine. Everything will be fine. With that being said, the third tip that I have for you is always have faith and be okay with uncertainty. Now said that being done, but this will really going to help you. I mean, it comes with a practice, okay? I can't tell you that have faith and you are developing the faith overnight and then next night you are waking up in the morning and you are have faith. No, it doesn't work that way. You have to remind yourself that I have faith in the uncertainty. I have faith in the unknown. I have faith in the future. If something doesn't happen the way I plan in the future, I, still I'll be fine. Still everything will be fine. Still the things will be okay. will be fine, okay? So you have to have faith, you have to develop the faith, you have to remind yourself, do the heck the way you can develop this faith. I just keep on reminding myself, I have faith, I have faith, I have faith like as many times in a day as I can because it really helps me rewire my mind and turn into a, some positive force and ultimately helps in developing a faith for that particular event or that particular future thing that is about to happen. It takes practice. It doesn't happen overnight. So be okay. Be normal if it's taking you more time because it may take you more time or less time. It doesn't matter at all. The point is that you have to have faith. It depends on you how long it's taking you. It doesn't really matter how long it's taking you. You just need to practice and keep on reminding yourself. I said another tip that I have for you is be in the present moment. Yes, most of the times when we are anxious, we are anxious about the future events that are about to happening in the upcoming days or month or year. So you have to be in the present moment. In the present moment, ask yourself, is there anything that is bothering me in this present moment? I'm not talking about the future, okay? I'm not thinking about the future. I'm thinking about the present. In the present situation, is there anything happening right now that is creating anxiety or is anything troublesome happening in this present moment? Most of the time, it doesn't. If you're asking yourself this question, then probably nothing is happening in your current situation and you're normal, you're okay at your home, at your office, wherever you are. You're okay with that and nothing uh, bad or nothing sad or nothing weird is happening in the present situation. So you don't need to be anxious about it because nothing bad is happening in the present situation. And you don't need to think about the future and have that anxiety feeling. The best way you could do is to practice being present in the moment. The moment your mind is going into that future events and thoughts and anxious feelings and all that kind of stuff, just bring your mind in the present situation, create awareness. For example, if you are in a public transportation and you are in a bus or a train and going to your office or going to some other place or you're meeting your family member, whatever the case is, if you feel like you are, your mind is dragging yourself in the future moment, just bring it back to the present moment and focus on what is happening right now. Focus on your breathing, focus on your heartbeat, focus on your body, how it's feeling. You're feeling the winds or you're feeling shrinking or you're feeling expanding, how your hairs are looking, how your eyes are feeling, your mouth, nose. Just bring the awareness towards your body functions, towards your body so that your mind stop thinking about the future and start thinking of the present moment. If you are sitting with someone else and that person is talking, bring the awareness towards that person. Look at that person's eyes and see how he or she is telling you what they are saying, how they're feeling, how you're feeling in that moment. Just bring that awareness in the present moment and practice as much as you can. Try to practice this self-awareness, being present in the moment in a day as many times as you can when the moment you feel like you're dragging yourself in the future bring it back in the present and try to practice and being aware of what's happening currently because 
if you are totally dependent on the future and keep on thinking about the future it will going to drive you nuts right because that thing is about to happen and it hasn't happened yet it hasn't happened yet and so you don't know what will going to happen 99% of the situation it will going to happen the way you have planned but 1% if it doesn't happen you still be fine but you don't have to think about right now because you don't know what will going to happen in the future so why to think too much about it i hope it makes sense right now move on to the next step the next step is that listen to your intuition yes now listening to your intuition is not that easy because we often have two voices in our head one is a positive one is a negative and then you are confused there are so many ways the people listen to their intuition you can do the meditation yoga being with the nature or mantra or mudra practice i mean there are so many ways in which people create the self awareness and bring themselves into the vortex into the universe with the one and then listen to their intuition or ask their question the way i technically do most of the time is just i sit back relax myself and just bring myself in the present moment see how i'm breathing currently my hairs my body my eyes what i'm spelling right now what's going inside of me i just create more self awareness and bring myself in the present situation and the moment i bring myself in the present situation sometimes there is nothing okay i don't hear any voice but sometimes i do feel a very slight very slight small voice that's coming inside of me and it's very warm it's very soft and it's very a uh, very low pitch voice okay it isn't a high pitch voice that we hear in our mind all the time hey don't go there it would be bad that is kind of like a high pitch voice right it's a very low pitch very soft very warm very loving voice that will going to tell you something and to me that is kind of like an intuition for me again guys it would vary from person to person maybe the things that i'm sharing in this video are not at all relatable to you and that's okay that's completely normal because every human being is different and so does our experience as well so i do listen to the intuition in this way you need to find your own way to listen to the intuition when i'm still working like a hell when i'm not in the present moment and i'm completely focusing on a work still there is a little small voice that's going to tell me something and that is the intuition and you need to differentiate with that it all comes with the practice guys okay it all comes with the practice it doesn't happen overnight i've been practicing this particular thing for years now i don't have years of experience i have few months or maybe a year of experience in this particular thing but i still can hear my own voice and i still can understand which one is my intuition voice and which one is my mind and had a creative voice and then i can make a difference between them the thing that you can deal with and the tip which i do is most often time is the anxiety is related to the fear if you are anxious about something because you are fearful that things may not happen in a worse situation you are anxious about the interview then you are thinking oh what if i fail in the interview what if i don't get a job what if i don't reach to the interview center on time what if this and that happen so that means there are the fears the underlying cause is like you are feeling fearful so the best way to defeat the fear is to actually feed your mind of the past circumstances or the past events that happened in your life at that time you was feeling the fear but still you conquered that events and you was successful at that particular event for example if you are fighting for an competitive examination and you are a student and you are feeling anxious what if i got fail in this exam what if this happens then what you could do you can go back to your past and go and remind yourself at the past when you ever had any phase in examination you appear for the examination and you were able succeeded and passed in that result or passed in that examination so if that thing happened in the past i was fearful in the past about that particular situation but that situation happened very well nothing bad happened so that means i was able to conquer that i was successful at that if i can be successful at that particular event then i can be successful at this particular event as well this is a kind of like a positive motivation positive inspiration that you're creating for yourself like you're taking an inspiration an idea from your own past stories your own past success stories when you were fearing fearful when you were anxious but still you were able to conquer that still you were successful in that particular thing and then you can remind yourself that i was able to do at that time so i can do at this time as well i do most of the time this particular thing last tip that i have for you is talk to someone who makes you feel more comfortable with whom 
you can share your thoughts, how you're feeling. It can be your family member, your spouse, your boyfriend, whoever is there in your life with whom you feel much more comfortable. Just share your experience. Just share your thoughts and maybe get some advice or help or suggestion from them because sometimes we are not able to figure ourselves by ourselves and we need some third person. Be okay to ask for help. Be okay to ask for guidance, for a therapy. You can go with a professional therapist if you need more expert help in this area but be okay and be open to ask for help don't be afraid and don't be shyful that what other people will going to think about me no sometimes we do need a third person voice with the hopefully these tips will going to help you dealing with the anxiety these are my own real tips uh, let me know your own tips about dealing with the anxiety if you have a one it would be helpful to me as well it will be helpful for other people in the comment section below thank you so much for tuning in today's video i'll gonna see you in the next video till then take care bye guys